An early season matchup between Utah and Houston gives us an opportunity to appreciate the athleticism that the young fella Jalen Green of the Rockets possess. Rockets Jazz. In the first, it's Kevin Porter Jr. showing his athleticism. He had 26 points and 10 rebounds. And there is Green in transition. He ain't missing too many of them. And then Green off one foot just kind of throws it up there and it goes. Rockets up by Deuce. Second quarter, it's Jordan Clarkson with a unique finish of his own. Back to the green show in the third. JG had 25 points. And then look at the old fella to the young fella. Eric Gordon finding the Jabari Smith rookie. Had 21 points, nine rebounds, and three blocks. Mike Conley ties this game up at 108 during one of the huddles. Jabari Smith and Jalen Green going at it. Young fella's trying to figure it out. Never mad at the passion. It's Eric Gordon, though, figuring it out for the Rockets. And this one, handing the Jazz their first loss of the season as the Rockets get their first win of the season. 114-108 is your final from H-Town. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is something that I did think about, but I, I don't think I ever put it in a video, but I definitely thought about this. Whomever fell to number three in the 2022 NBA draft, I did think in the back of my mind, there will be some hurdles that you will have on the court just because that's a very young team. Now, keep in mind, going into the draft, we pretty much knew that the Oklahoma City Thunder were going to draft Chet Holmgren no matter what, right? We didn't believe that, number one, the Orlando Magic were going to draft Chet, Chet right there. We believed it to be Jabari Smith for the longest. At the last minute, they pulled the rug right under the table, and they went with Paolo Bancara. So that means Jabari Smith out of Auburn, really good player, it was going to Houston. And I was thinking in the back of my mind, whoever ends up in Houston, okay, there are a lot of young guys there. Kevin Porter Jr. is still a very young guy. I know he just got the bag, but still a very young guy. Trust and believe that um, mentality as well. Uh, Kenyon Martin Jr. is another young guy trying to find his way, trying to, you know, make a name for himself just like his dad did. Another guy, Josh Christopher. So obviously I know, you know, a lot of basketball fans don't know a lot about Josh Christopher. But in the basketball community, he's got a lot of weight. Everybody knows him, right? Like, he's a, a well-respected guy. He was very top, one of the top prospects coming out of uh, high school and played with Jalen Green in, in high school. And, and, you know, either AAU or high school, I forgot it. But around that age, they played together. So, you know, there's some some friendship built in there. And then, obviously, Jalen Green's there. And Jalen Green, if he don't do nothing else, he's going to get some shots up, right? So, I knew whoever ended up at three, whether it be Baccaro or Smith, I knew there would be some hurdles. And, you know, look, nothing's wrong with, with having some early season hurdles. Nobody likes to lose. Guys play hard. You know, guys practice. Guys care about it. I do believe Ben Carroll's personality, though, maybe would have fed in a little better than Jabari Smith's. I've, I've yet to meet either of the two, but just kind of what I watched from them respectfully at Duke and Auburn, I do believe Ben Carroll's personality would have fit in a little better than, than with, with Jalen Green and company in Houston. Then, then Jabari's. Jabari's got a nice game. His game might fit a little better with Houston. Um, I, the way I kind of looked at it was this. It's a, it's a catch-22. If if Jabari or Ben Carroll, whoever ended up in Orlando, you were going to be able to get a lot of shots. The, 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 the trade-off of that is the Magic might be bad today, tomorrow, and a very long time from now. Houston, you're going to be fighting for shots. So between Ben Carroll and Smith, whoever got drafted to the Rockets, I was thinking – you're going to be fighting for shots, but I do believe in the next two to three years, the Rockets are going to be okay enough to make the playoffs. So what matters more to you, I guess, would it be to get shots and be bad or to fight for shots with a lot of young guys and, uh, and, and potentially be okay in a couple years down the line, win more, which is what I believe the Houston Rockets would be. Obviously, Jabari now uh, is in Houston and in Ben Carroll in Orlando. So we shall see. This is something that I thought about. When the, when the, right around draft time, again, I thought for sure the Magic were taking Smith and Ben Carroll would be a rocket. Obviously, they pulled the Yoki doke at the end, and here's what we got. I'm not mad at a little passion from my young athletes. Oftentimes, you know, some of the younger athletes get a bad rep for not caring. At least they care enough about something on that court to be passionate enough to go at it and say, yo, you know, whatever it is, I don't like that. Don't do that again. Let, let's figure this out. You know, I like that passion from the young guys because at least – it tells me that they care.